everybody? This is Absolutely Alphas. I'm Trina. And this is Tom. And we about to get it started. You bitches is out of line. That's what we talking about today. Okay. So, um... What we're what? talking about is how dating <laughs> and your first date should go. What to do and what not to do. And brother obviously feels like a lot of bitches out of line. So... <laughs> you bitches is out of line. Alright, so... That's how I wanted to say it earlier. That's so, what we're going to talk about today. All right, so um, the first thing, I'm, wait a minute, before we get started, I want to ask you a quick question because I was just reading about this car. If you could buy a car that could drive itself, would you buy one that could drive itself? Well, I yeah, I mean, like the Tesla. The Tesla can drive itself. There's a lot of cars that can drive themselves now. Would you buy one? I guess is my question. If I felt it was safe and it it were proven to be safe, of course. The Tesla, I've been doing a lot of reading on the Tesla, and I think I want that to be my next car. And it only likes, I think like 70000 Does Nissan make that? No, Tesla makes it. Tesla uh, is, te- do you, Nicholas Tesla, do you know I'm, what Tesla I'm is? I'm bugging. Okay, no, nah, I'm bugging. All right. So, I'm going to get a Tesla. That's my next car. Okay. So, anyway, what we're talking about is, like Brother said, he feels like uh, bitches are out of line <laughs> with asking certain questions when you're out on your first date. Um, before we get into that, I want to say thank you for listening, and I'm glad you're still hanging out with us and rocking with us. We're still fairly new at this, and, uh, we're having a lot of fun, and we, we thank all of you for your support and comments and questions and emails, and, uh, thank, just thanks a lot for that, but, um. Yeah, we definitely appreciate it, you know, and, and, and even your difference of opinions, that like, are appreciated as well, so, you know, thank you for everything. And, um, you know, I actually kind of like uh, piggybacking or bouncing off just one of the things that, you know, sister said in one of her stories on a podcast previously, um, a politician, mm-hmm. a random politician at a mm-hmm. party had asked her what she does for a living. Mm-hmm. And she felt like he was out of line for asking her that. Yeah. It made me and, uncomfortable. Right. I mean, but in general, when, when you know, when you don't really know someone like that, you know, is that the right it, thing it's, to it's, do? I mean, is that appropriate? It, not, not even that, but I mean, but how you respond to like, you know, if the person doesn't isn't very elaborative on what they on what they do for a living, like right. maybe maybe they don't really tell you exactly what it is. Um, and in dating, so like you know, like <laughs> some people on the first date, you know, you might just kind of casually ask, like, "What do you do? What are you into?" And you know, you might kind of touch on it, but some people I've noticed, like women in particular, you know, from my experiences, are not, you know, they're they're really funny style if you're not specific about what you do for a living. And what is what is the purpose of that? Unless it's it's like unless they the the like unless you're, I mean, just be straight up. I mean, is 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 the economic thing going to be like a major factor in whether or not you you you're gonna. Go not anywhere with this person. Not like I mean, this this gets straight to it. Like I mean, yeah. like why does that? Why does it really matter that much? Exactly what I do for a living. Like why does it matter that much? It you know if I all right. So let's let's play this out. Okay, we're on a date, right? And I'm like, hey, how you doing? What's going on? So, what do you do? I work for the government. Oh, that's nice. Well, if, see, well, that's a bad example for your, well, well, to your okay. point. Well, to well, your point, well, that's a well, terrible example. Not, not to my point, because, okay. Because <laughs> you got to be more ambiguous. What, like, what, well, I, I have a job. <laughs> and then I'll be like, I, well, what do well, you I do? Well, I mean, but see, but that, you know what? But even if I say, well, I work for the government. Well, if you, you work know, for the government, then 90% of this bitch is going to be like, cool. <laughs> like, well, not And then stop. And then they won't probe I, any okay, further. Okay, you know? all right. That, you know what? That, that probably was a bad example. That's a bad example, right? <laughs> okay. Because, no, just because of the semantics of the word government. Right, exactly. Okay. Even but, your semantics. You love all right. to say semantics. I think you yeah, like that Because that's, that's how people get caught up in debates. They try to get caught up in like, the semantic debates about something. All right, something. so let's anyway. do it again. Let's do it again. Hey, how you doing? What's going on, shorty? So, thank you for bringing me to this uh, nice restaurant and everything. Oh, my goodness. I was wondering, what is it that you do? I work. What you mean? Oh. Like, are you in? Are you a consultant? Uh, are you in modeling? I mean, what do you do? I, I, what I work, I work, and what I do is legal. That's all, is you, it, that, that's, oh. all you, that's all you need to know. Okay. Did you go to college? Or? See, that, 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 your, your thought. Your thought. <laughs> 
Okay, you're a thought. <laughs> now I'm a thought. And you, now you, I'm a thought. You, you, you have officially become a thought at that point. Like, why, why is it that? Why does it have to be that specific? Like, you know, well, I just met you. Like, you're out of line. You don't need to know exactly what I do for a living. You, I just met you. I don't so know. So what you. would you really say? Would you say you like you're that. out of line, or would you say, "Don't worry about it, ho"? Like, what would, <laughs> like, what would I mean, you say? At, at that, you know what? I mean, at, at this point, I have. I guess I have learned to, you know, I guess be ambiguous and kind of detail at get, the same time. Get, 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 like I usually say, I work for the government. Do you? Do, you, do you really? Yeah. I mean, well, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not That's lying. That's why you said it so easily. <clears throat> I'm not lying when I say that. Oh. But you know, but it's like. It's it's like it's just enough to where like I can just just get off that topic because if you go any any further than like you know or why you gotta know that if you go any further than that, then it actually becomes a debate and and the girl won't want to talk to you anymore and and I I you know and and you know it's like it's funny because if you get into that debate with a woman, like well when I have in the past it would be like, well you know not that I. You know, you know, care about you know how much you're making, or you know, need you to take care of me anything. But I gotta know that you on my level. Ooh, like, like somebody just, said that to you before. Yeah, and I'm like, you just contradict yourself, bitch. Like, you just, you just, Don't you just, you, you, you just said two it's Christian opposite listen. things. <laughs> That's cool. I hear all that bullshit. <laughs> so I mean, but yeah, that I, I, that is that is thotty. That is uh, what's the verb for it? That it, is it, thotty. Thotty is is it? That's that was perfect. That there you go. Thotteristic, I guess. But I don't think you should really discuss it in grave detail uh huffington post actually has an article that, that gives you the breakdown i'll put it in the notes about you what to do and what to talk about and what not to talk about and when it talks about as it relates to career conversation it's not a big deal to talk about your career um as long as you're pleased with your career and i i do want to know like if i go on a date i do want to know what the other person does but um i i think i would allow them to tell me how much they tell me you know i would just ask them and then i would take their answer and just me that's me personally i know i'm not uh of the thought category (laughs) but you know i would just take their answer and just sit on that and see what that means to me you know because if they say oh I, i got a job i'm like oh okay they obviously don't want to talk about it so i'm not gonna make it uncomfortable you know if they say I work here and they and they give me all the details and I'm like okay they want me to know they're getting big deal you know <laughs> you know what I'm saying right. but I wouldn't I wouldn't probe any further than the first answer if I was to ask that question but when I was dealing with that politician why I was uncomfortable is because you know we weren't on a date I I was with my people you know what I mean mm-hmm. and you know he was in my personal space and I didn't for one I didn't expect it to be a political soiree. Mm-hmm. You know, so that was one aspect of it that I was taken really aback by. And then to compound that, he's all about my job. Like, what do you do? <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, okay. You want some campaign money, obviously. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, right. I mean, but. <laughs> and it just, I felt like that, in that scenario, I felt like he may, I don't know. Maybe that's how politicians roll. I don't roll with politicians often in that circle. So maybe they're always asking each other how they, you know. But I just think. You know, socially, I, I don't think that's a great thing. Because what if, you know, I'm, I'm on the come up. What if I don't want to brag about what I do? What if I don't, you know, want to tell you that personal part of me? What if it is personal to me? I mean, it's different when you're on a date with a love it's interest. It's not different. It's when not, you're, it's it not is, different. It's very different. It's not different, It's very though. different. With somebody that you might potentially sleep with to somebody you're just meeting, a, a politician, or, you know what I mean, a friend of a friend. They don't need to know that. They don't need to know what you do for a living because at that point, it's more judgment than it would be with you getting to know somebody that you're on a date to specifically get to know. You know, I'm not here to get to know your best friends. I'm not here to get to know you, politician, man. I'm here because I'm fucking here, you know, and I want to have a good time. Like, that's what I'm here for. So it is out of line, I think, in those social settings. It is It is a. It's different to me. It, it's different because for a couple of reasons. Ideally... You would be, you know, ideally, you know, I, I guess if for, for people who are, you know, looking for that, you know, that, that long term monogamy, like, you know, I, I guess ideal relationship, uh, uh, you know, marriage and loving forever and everything. If you're looking into that, if that's what you want, then ideally you would be dating someone that you already know fairly well. 
Um, ideally, ideally, it would it would be like you know. But you before you even date somebody, you gotta get to know them. There, it, there's always that phase where you're getting to know somebody. I mean, but I'm just saying, ideally, it would be like someone that you you met through someone else that you met through a job or, or you know your school or something. Ideally, it would be you know it wouldn't be someone that you just met that you're on a date with. It wouldn't be someone that you just met recently. Um, so that being said, you know if you pro- you, you probably you would already social. If you meet them off uh like a dating app, it would. If, well, if you see that, and see that's what I'm speaking about now, though. If you met someone off a dating app, that's someone that you don't really know at all, right? And and you're out of line. If if you if if you're if you're at a point where you can't get past the first date without knowing specifically what this person does for a living, you're out of line. And and I mean, you're not okay. You're not out of line. You have an agenda, and your agenda is with that politician. to have a successful life. And your your agenda is what that politician's agenda was. They're trying to you're trying to size a person up because you you want to. You want to know what this person has to offer, and 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 you're you're out. I mean, I'm going to say you're out of line, and unless your agenda is specifically, you know, what this person can do for you, or you know, you're having you're going to have a certain type of interaction relationship with this person, where you know you already know what it is, and that's that's cool. But I mean, other than, I can, I can other other, other than that, you're out of line. I mean, I can see that, but I think I think it's the reason why I think it's it's uh, impolite. You know, I just think it's impolite because when it's not of a romantic interest, then you're just being a bully. Like you're just saying your 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 motives are more obvious and it's more insulting to me than if it's somebody that you're dating. Because when you're dating, it's like, okay, I want to know what you do. I want to know about you 100%. It's not as as uh demeaning or I, I don't know if demeaning's too strong. It's not as it intrusive. It's not as intrusive. As it would be if you're meeting somebody who you're not preparing to have a love interest with. Like, I'm meeting you, you know, and we're sitting across from each other. So, what is it, so what is it that you do? You know, people have that tone. So, what is it that you do? And I've even said that before. But when I, whenever I've said it, I know specifically I was being a bitch. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what is it that you do? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, and I know that's it sounds like, okay, since you say it and you mean you think you're a bitch and obviously everybody else is. But, no, I, I just also think that it's. A little invasive if you're not you know I, I would prefer if I was meeting somebody for the first time through a friend of mine I didn't know a lot about him that wouldn't be something that I asked them I would let them talk about it or I would wait a few you know what I mean just to, to see if it was revealed and then if it wasn't revealed then it, and I felt like they were weirdo then I might ask them but other than that it's really not something that's of my concern if you know I'm not in a romantic relationship with you I just think it's rude yeah, I just think it's yeah, I mean, I think you don't know. Somebody might be unemployed. Somebody might be going through something really bad in their lives right now, and you just pull their ass out the house to hang out. You know what I mean? Anybody, yeah. you don't know what you don't know what somebody might be going through, or what their status is, and you asking them that could just remind them of their shitty status. And not that my status was shitty when he asked me, but I'm just saying, I'm just always taken aback by that because that's not something that I would do. Again, unless it was a romantic involvement that I was trying to court somebody, or they were trying to court me, or whatever the case may be, you know. I, I think I think it's always um, go, going to be an intrusive, out of line question any time that you are to just begin to know someone. That's that's about line I'm making. Not, so you don't care not, what she you don't care if bitch work at McDonald's. I mean, as if if we get further into. I guess our our dating or our interaction, She'd you know, like, I work at our romantic interaction. If we, get, if we get if we get further into it, <laughs> if we get further into it, and you know, and we're trying to like, if we if, if we're starting to have that conversation about okay, where is this I'm going? I'm in love with French fries. Trying to have the conversation about where it's going, then I think it's it's more appropriate, you know, to get into like you know more details like that. Like okay, well, what do you do? You know, they don't like, trust me to do nothing else but fries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy. That's unfortunate, Shorty. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. What if she um, said that, she, that was all she could do at work is fries? Would you still want to mess with her? Uh, you know, there, there's a conversation about that too. What if that's as far as someone can go? That that might be as far as someone can go. Right. I mean, you don't know how far someone can go in life, and you know. But how and, does that translate and, in the other attributes and, about them that may hinder your relationship? You know, and and then to even bring that up is like you know I thought this topic could um. <laughs> could really start a whole series in and of itself. We might could do a whole season of like branch off topics just on this conversation yeah, alone. That's true. We we have seriously opened up a can of worms here at yeah. this point. Thank you for that. Um I do, you know, of course have supporting articles in the notes. So um I think it's interesting. I've I've Googled this topic twice. twice. So um the last time I okay. 
I'm, I'm going to start a, a, a sidebar note here. Now, I, I want to make a note here that I don't believe my phone knows and I'm black. Okay, I'm, that, that's important to note right now. Um, I, I'll be watching YouTube and I'll get like, a blonde hair gel commercial or something like I don't I don't think I feel like my phone doesn't know I'm black I, I feel like we've reached a point of technology where maybe my phone should know <laughs> these things I, yeah. but it, it doesn't so that being said I thought it was interesting that um there was I could google like just now percentage of professional single women and in the top six articles it makes reference to like you the know, second one the very second article makes reference to black women um, without me specifying black women, you know, in, in my search. And then also the time before... I mean, so many black women are single <laughs> <laughs> that it's ridiculous. That, that is, is, is that noteworthy on Google, right? And they're single, why, brother? Because they're asking what niggas do in the first date. Is that I, what you're saying? I mean, that what you're getting at? In, 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 in a nutshell, <laughs> in a nutshell, that's kind of what I'm saying. That's kind of what you said. Because, because when, you know, because what, what, because what they... Y'all dis- didn't ask that on the first date, then... <laughs> Y'all wouldn't be single. I mean, what, up. What, what they're discussing in the article really is that, you know, really, I mean, these these black women are frustrated because, you know, they're, they're not, what it, really what it is, the undertone is they're not finding guys on their level. They, they, you know, these women really want guys that are more successful or, you know, more economically, of, of more economic status than them. Mm-hmm. That's really what these women want. You know, they, and, and it's like, it's just like the date. It's like. That's they, what they, white women want too. They, oh, oh. That's that's not the point. You're getting away from the point. The point I'm making is you see you decide you decide boy. I mean, maybe forget what I was going to say. Ooh. But anyway, the the point is like it's it's kind of like the date, like the the articles are are written and like you know it did, like these women are like venting their frustration, mm-hmm. and um, it's like it's it's not really being said that like okay, well these women just want to do it. It's like making more money than them, and it's harder because. Blah, you blah, know, blah, 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 blah. back in the day, these you know, women didn't have degrees. Now they do. So it's like a lot harder now to find a guy that's making more money than you. So like that's that's really what it is. But it's I just think it's interesting that um, and I think I think the last time I googled, I, I, I maybe I chose a different word choice, but I I could have sworn that these two articles that I'm about to go over with you in the notes, uh, were like the top two on the last topic that I I um I googled about this that that where I did not use the word black. I didn't put the word black women in there. So it's interesting. So um, so one of them, because I mean, point point blank, I mean, one of the elements to discuss here is going to be the economic differences between women and men. I um, mean, in the modern world, that right. that's that's going to be you know our, our one of our elements to discuss here, because it's such a big deal. You know, to some people, <laughs> as soon as they meet you immediately and and you're in a date, they they got to know they have to, or or they're not going to talk to you anymore. And you know, I and, think that I think let me just interject real sure. quick. Sure. I think a lot of the reason why that concept even exists is usually the person asking is of a status that he they want to talk about or they want you to know about or you already know about. So it's like, okay, I'm doing well. You know, so if I'm in a situation, like say I didn't have, I wasn't in a relationship and I was dating. Like I'm, I'm in a pretty good point in my life, you know, and I go out and I meet somebody. I want to make sure that they're on my level or better. And because... Why? Because if I don't make sure that that is what's going on, it's wasting my time. If How I get is it involved wasting your you, time? I, know, I, I never said financially. I never said financially. Okay, right, let's hear it. I never said financially. Let's hear it, let's hear it. I want to make sure that person... And, and usually, if the person is mentally where I'm at, they're successful too. Typically. And I say that because if you got a if you got a a, a drive in you or a, you know what I mean a, a certain mindset you you're gonna at this age you're gonna have something you know what I'm saying if you're if you're my age and you don't have anything then that means you know what the fuck have you been doing with your life at the you know I don't want to deal with you now so yeah it's important for me to know that you you got something going on you have some intelligence level and you got some type of income going on because i don't want to proceed like i'm at a point now like okay we can date and play around but what if i do want to have kids what if i do want to you know bop 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 bat 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 you know then i I don't want to do that and start a family with you know i don't care I, i would never say that on a date but 
I, any female will tell you that's in the back of their mind. If they're a professional female and they're single and they're dating, they're like, okay, can he support a family? Not support a family, but could he be good with children? If I had a baby by him, would he be a good father? You know what I'm saying? And you want to know that somebody is mentally strong enough to do that. And if they're mentally strong enough to do that, then typically, yeah, they're going to be a person that is a provider, you know, or have a provider mentality or have a mentality that, okay, I'm going to go, I got to make this paper. You know what I'm saying? So that, I mean, that comes with territory to me. So I yeah. specifically don't feel like I got to ask that question. I feel like I can gauge a person enough to know, and then it'll come and I'll figure it out. Or maybe I already know. Maybe I go to their Facebook page, like we talked about in the other yeah. episode, and I go find out what they're doing because maybe they listed it. You know, I don't know. But it's, it is it is important. It's not a non, a, it's not a, it, bad, you know, because if, if they tell me, and I'm going to be honest with you, if I'm out on the scene, I'm dating, they're like, okay, they're 35 and they work at McDonald's. Okay, I ain't going to diss a brother because he work at McDonald's. But, like, what else are you doing? He might work at McDonald's because he's a felony. But he, he's trying to start his own business. He got angel investors. Like, you don't know. You know, so I'm not going to just be, I'm not going to judge a motherfucker because right, they, but, you know yeah. what I'm saying, boom, 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 or they're not in the corporate realm of employment. But at the same time, I got to know that you got your head straight and that you, it, got some intelligence about you where you can make some money. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean... Because money is what... Money runs the world. I mean, you gotta have to get some money. Uh, everybody gotta get money. Everybody gotta get money. Get that paper. But, and, and, you know what I'm saying? And, and, <laughs> that, that paper get short. that paper, Jody. Jody Joe. And, and <laughs> another thing to maybe discuss, you know, another podcast is, is just a simple fact that, you know, there are so many women with de- degrees and, you know, corporate careers and businesses and and still the, the highlight of you know and black women are leading in that area and you know and that's that's and that's something i didn't really get a chance to like i i've, I've looked up many articles didn't get a chance <laughs> to look, come across that yet um that you know but again we're like six another, times more the national average with like startup businesses black women specifically then six times over who the in rest of the world yeah. any other genre i mean that's I'm, I'm glad to hear that that's awesome and you know is is just um I just think it's interesting that you know there okay. there is all the success coming to black women, and still the highlight uh, of what these women you know what black women are more likely to I guess uh, settle down with is going to be a guy that like you said with the provider mentality like that's still like the requirement you know for husband material whatever it seems like I think that's interesting but that's that's not the topic that we're discussing today but you know what um, okay go ahead go ahead go um there there are mediums so. You know that that's 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 what came to my mind while you were speaking. There are mediums, um, so you're ext- you're, what you're really checking to see, and even what, what all of us are checking to see. I get, I think mainly would be, you know, what the romantic interest would be. You know, we just want to make sure this person isn't like just a scrub. Like this, this person isn't someone that's just, just going to be a fuck up. Is I this, don't this, want no scrub. You know, it's just all it's always going to be like relying upon you for everything that you know. Just just always going to be in your pocket and and needing some shit. You a got you got. Scrub is a guy that can't you, get you, no love from you, you me. You gotta you gotta do everything for him. You know what I mean? Like type shit. Sitting on the passenger side, like, his best friend's right. I I had an ex girlfriend. Like you know, I was doing her job applications for trying to holler at me you know so like it's like you know because she was struggling with the job application <laughs> she retarded what you think this? what i right, mean what the, what? Fuck, what the fuck was going on how right? old was she 12 i, I can tell <laughs> that you 12 tell that you 12 right away. but um <laughs> nah. you was 12 you knew that and you still try to help her nah, good, you nah her out, seriously though like um <laughs> You know that that's really what you're checking for. So like, there there are mediums. Like I mean, you know, everyone. I mean, I, I'm I'm glad that we're we're on a podcast, and you know, we're 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 kind of like forced to explain these things out. And you would take the time to explain, like, okay, well, I will understand if a guy, you know, is a, is a felon and he works at McDonald's. I'm glad you're taking the time to explain that. Most women ain't gonna take the time to listen to that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? That I mean, and then and not even that, but you know. A lot of guys are not that good at communication to where they would be able to relay that in a way where you know you would find it acceptable. Right. Um. You know where we. You know we we. They probably so mad that they a felony like oh, I'm a felon, bitch. <laughs> you no, know, like, but not like, uh, not not okay. even. I mean, you know, I mean, because <laughs> well, we 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 spoke about the social realm before, and you know, and how women you know basically dominate the social realm, 
and you know women are, are just better communicators than we are and that's yep. that it is what it is we're so, better human beings so it's like it, <laughs> also. it's like I, I might not i might not get a chance <laughs> to relate to you effectively you know what i got going on or, or what my plans are before you're just turned off and not trying to fuck me no more so you know that's that's really the closed mindedness that i'm referring to right now yeah um that you know most women are, are not going to be that understanding when when they ask you what do you do because you know uh, and it's, especially the ones i can see like if they if they just want if they just can't get past that point in the conversation with them to know like okay what specifically do i do like i do this you know, I'm a program analyst for. And you know, I you think know. what it is. I think what it is. I, ego has a lot to do with this whole concept. Because if you're, if you have a really like, if I was a person that was really super egotistical and I went on a date with somebody, I probably would like pressure what they did and and who they are, just to you know magnify myself. You know, and that and that's some some of the aspect of it too. It was like, okay, I've got all that, I've accomplished all this, and I want you to know that because I'm going to talk about it a lot. <laughs> but not only am I going to talk about it a lot, but you need to let me know in detail what you do to see if it's even half as good as mine. Because if it's not, then we're not going to be dating. You know, and that, I mean that's like the general mentality of the female that you're talking to. I mean, not talking to you, but talking about. But then on the guys, from the guys' point of view, you know. It's it's not as big a deal because as you as we spoke about before, women are more less looking for somebody to be that provider, whether it's financially or a protector or you know something that you know has some dominance over them. And some women look at it like, well, if you, the only way you can have any dominance over me at this point in my life when I'm up here is for you to be up here. You know what I'm saying? So. That's how they look at relationships. So, like, you, you have to be doing better than me for me to deal with you. At least, you know, may, I mean, maybe the same. But a lot of women look at it like, well, man, I don't want the same. I want better, you know, because I'm here and I struggled to get here. So, you got to be up here because I know I'm a catch. I know I'm a commodity. I know that I'm worth a lot. And I'm going to let you know that. And we got to get up here with you, you know. But, I mean, not every woman is like that. And then you have women that. Just want you, just you know, and then like you just have men actually that they just want a chick that's faithful, <laughs> that can cook, <laughs> that can clean, that's I mean, pretty, got oh, a nice shit. body. Like, that's really it. But men don't ever care about that type of thing. I mean, but I, I mean, you do have men that do, usually they're gay, but 90%. What? What? No. <laughs> what? what just happened? No, I'm what sorry. Happened, yo? I was a joke. I was a joke. Um. <laughs> On the low, on the low, cause I feel so nobody gotta know. (laughs) Okay, so that's that. Now my next article, like I said, black women are killing it. We're six times the national average for entrepreneurship on small businesses, and that's national. And so. I want to refer back to your Google search that you referenced okay. about, you know, this how the second find referenced black women as far as careers were to go and or, and as far as uh, single women with careers that are successful go. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that has some relation because if black women are six times the national average with entrepreneurship... A lot of them are single too, you know, and when you do the comparison, which I don't want to be the one to do between black women and like the other nationalities, you know, I don't, I don't want to say like we're stronger and better, but I guess maybe we are. We're six times the national average. So when you look at men and the the businesses they start, it's a little bit more like construction and like man, man, man businesses, but women do a lot more like family oriented uh, home base, you know, things like that. But <clears throat> because of that, we're also, again, the, what you Google, we're also harder to pair <laughs> with someone. I, I mean, but it's, it's... And that's where your argument comes in, too, because you're like, it, you know, you're going to stick to this, it's, this, it's, that, and it's third. Like, because it's like... It's, but like, we're winning so this... much that we have to survey everybody very closely, I guess. Because that's just like, it just, it just goes <laughs> along with the territory. Like, it's wrong, like... Like, what you're speaking about is like, okay, yeah, we're harder to pair. Like, who's on that level? Like, we're, we're doing so much. Right. But it's like, it, it's like the, the inherent 
thought of that is it's wrong. It's not wrong. It's wrong. It's not wrong because okay, it's it's important. I didn't I didn't even get to finish. You know, we're an intimidating force. Black women. I, have I didn't I didn't I didn't, I didn't get to finish. I didn't I didn't get to finish my last. I didn't get to finish my last point. What, what we're really trying to avoid is you know as men and women we're trying to avoid scrubs like that. That's really all you need to check for. You just you just gotta pretty much determine this person isn't a scrub. And that's it. I don't want no that, That's all. Yes, that's, that's really all. That's the only place that you're gonna. That's the only point you're really gonna be in line to be checking. Sitting in the passenger side. Because really, all all you're looking really looking looking to compare is mental state. Trying you know, to. You're trying to. At you know. Me. So like, if a guy is only making, okay, if a guy decided to be a school teacher as a career, he's never gonna be on your level if that's his career. How do you? But you can't he, say that. He, he, oh, let me finish my point. That that's his passion. That's what that's what he wants to do with his life. He he doesn't have any other ambition or, or passion besides wanting to help kids out in, in school, in public schools. And that's that's the only ambition he has. He will never be on your fucking level. Why are you saying that? To me, personally? To, to, well, he, he, you're yeah, not saying that to me. I'm saying that to you. You know I'm not like that. I'm saying well, I'm not you're right. I'm not saying it to you personally, but I'm saying that to 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 you professional women out there with your businesses and you're, you're six times more professional than anybody else, that's cool. But you know, if if a guy's but a school black teacher, black women that are professional can't even find that. Like that's that's fine. I I'm mean, certain they'll they'll take okay, that okay. over a person that's a convict that can't get a job that's trying to run a game and got eight baby mothers. But that's not what you, you just said, what though. That's not what you just said. But no, that's not what you just said. But no, that's we're not, talking about something different now. No, we're talking that's about the, but that, that's now. still but that's several times on this podcast. That is not what you said. You said these women are hard to pair because they're not able to find providers. And they can't find guys at, no, at their level. No, that's not why I said they're hard to pair. I said they're looking for, and I said every woman is looking for a provider. I didn't say they're hard to pair because they're looking for a provider. I said they're hard to pair because of their success ratio. That's why they're hard to pair. What, because what? once they get to a certain status, they're looking for people that are of that status. And it's hard for black women to find black men that are of that fucking status because of their st- uh, statistics proves. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but that's, that's, I'm not but that's saying not it's even wrong. True. But statistics don't prove that, though. Okay. Be- because there are, there are plenty there are plenty black men, you know, who, who are at sc- school teacher status making $30,000 a year. But, I mean, it's... The, I mean... They're not the majority, is my point, according to statistics. That's all I'm saying. So, when I say that a black woman... If black women are winning right now... We, let me finish. If I'm saying that black women are winning right now... Which is not a bad thing. Six it's in not, the nation. It's not bad at all. So what I'm saying is, I think all my connection that this whole thing is, it came up second in line on that podcast where you didn't enter anything about black women because we're single and we're out here and we're looking for men that can please us that are black, but it's hard to find them because of their current status in society. You know, the majority, the majority of black men are not successful, according to statistics. Do you understand what I'm saying now? They're not, they're, they're not teachers. They're not, you know, making, I, I, I'll go six figures or more. There are a lot of them that are. There are a lot of them that are. But... When us as black women go out after the struggle that we've been through in society, when we go out and we look for somebody, we want somebody strong. We're strong. We're probably stronger than a lot of other people in society. You know what I mean? We're more than six times, definitely, right? Right. I'm saying. I mean, when when I say, I mean, like as a as a human being, like we're strong. Oh, black absolutely. woman has endured a lot throughout history. You know, so when we go out and we're looking for something. You gotta be strong. You know, and 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 you not only do you gotta be strong. We don't mind. We don't mind taking care of you. We see you got vision. You understand what I'm saying? So don't get that twisted. But what I'm saying is, it's hard for us to find some because society's so f- fucked up. I mean, everything's so messed up. So it's 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 hard for us to go out there and find a good guy that's gonna be who we need them to be and faithful and reliable and you know can can make some money and bring it to the household legally you know that's that's not easy for us to find that's what i'm saying i'm i'm gonna play devil's advocate and i'm gonna oh, have as usual and, and, I'm gonna, the and, usual. and i'm gonna have some transparency here as well mm-hmm. because the the truth of the matter i, I want to be clear right now 
<laughs> that as far as like the articles right now that we have reviewed, you know, just just being transparent right now, and the articles I pulled up, and I I, I don't know about the articles that that you know she's referring to, but as far as I know. I don't know that we have actually, you know, prepared <laughs> anything that that shows statistics that uh that this this oh, rate this this, right this ratio of, of successful women to men is 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 like that, and not this. I mean, we're just keeping it real, real because okay, even in this ABC News article that's in the notes, right? Um, there's you know, it's it's really making a high, a lot of highlights to the ratio, the ratio of of like success, uh, quote unquote. You know, for, for you know, again, semantic for right. semantic purposes, uh, successful women to successful, you know, successful black women to successful black women, uh, men, women to men ratio. Blackdemographics.com. So, <laughs> that is a website. Look, that is a website. <laughs> All right, she just okay. She she's still pulling up some. Let me finish my point. She's been going on for a minute though. It will be in the notes. That yes, yeah, so do what you gotta do. I I want to see those stats of, of ratio because you know there's a there's a, a link in this ABC News article. This is ABC, y'all. Okay, talking about you know <laughs> highlighting the stuff from Oprah about forty two percent of U.S. Black women have never been married. You know that's double the number of white women. Um, then it's then it goes on to say you know seventy percent and these are, these are kind of old stats these are, these are kind of played at this point seventy percent of a uh, of black women with bachelors or better are single meaning that they're they're not married in other words you know that they're single and and we got more degrees and, Just say and we got more degrees and right then there's here. a link here hold on but there's a link here because okay the point I'm making right now is you can't believe this hype about the ratio you can't you can't fall for this hype it's bullshit you can because. It says one point. There are one point eight million more black women than black men. And first of all, if you do any kind of census research, you, you're gonna find out that's false. So when you hit that link, what happened? When you click on this link, <laughs> <laughs> hold up. When you click on this link, right? It leads you to nowhere land. It, it leads you and to Tiger Woods. Why, ti- why did Tiger Woods? <laughs> Real. Yo, it's it's like it's like so a, it's fuck a, ABC is it's, what we're saying. It's a it's a fake. No, I'm I'm just saying, but it's a, it's a false statistic. It's been perpetuated so many times By about ABC. about about this woman to men ratio. It's been perpetuated so long, and it's not true. But there, it is there, true. There there are more sing, for for the dating age. There are a lot more single men than women, and I'm getting tired of that shit being perpetuated. There's that, gonna naturally be a lot more single men than women because n- there's more women than men. What? I know that made no that, sense. That, I'm sorry. What the fuck you just say, y'all? <laughs> I thought I was gonna say there's more men than women, but, but I any, remember the statistic right. as I was saying it. Okay, so okay, also sorry. I made it the point. I made it the point to put in the notes as well a map where you can you can actually have like a visual effect and like you can see you know, like all all the majorly populated areas. Okay. Where really in the dating range, you know, being 25 to 34, we'll call it the dating range as far as age goes. Um, you know, the numbers greatly favor women. It greatly favors y'all. Um, because there are a lot more single men. And and that's you know, for for that I mean, now now when we speak about there being more women than men, they talk about from eighteen to sixty five. You know, so when we get up to like forty five to sixty five or sixty four or whatever, yeah, there are a lot more single women. I mean, okay, you it, it is what it is. There's another article here to support another point. I mean, you know, you're getting older. But okay, yeah, screw you're, the you're, articles. You're, the point you're, you're, is the our point, opinions the, is what matters. The, most. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, yeah. Screw that. I mean, well, I mean, just, still, just still, you know, you, highlighting the point here. I'm just, I'm just using like, you know, since we're talking about articles. But ABC and, obviously is not a good. And, and we're point. and we're using statistical using data. Ghosts. I'm making the point right now that you can't Links. follow. You can't follow all that hype about ratios. It's a bunch of hype. It's bullshit. It's not real. That's that's the point I'm making I, right now. I want to follow my ratio guide. I think it's relevant. I just, just show it. Whatever. All right. You so mad. Um, you mad? Cause I mean, you cause you, you you don't have you don't have a strong like foundation right now for what you're I saying. I do. My foundation is you don't stellar. <laughs> foundation kind of weak, yo. It's stellar. The weak, so the we're gonna move foundation. on. Um, the next thing we're gonna talk about is I guess we could do our passion points now. Do you have anything else you want to say? <laughs> in in closing, I'm gonna say this before we get to our passion points. I'm gonna say this. I feel like. My summary is, it is not a bad idea to find out what the person that you're on a first date with does for a living. But I do feel like you should not probe. I mean, if you do decide to ask the question because you don't know, then 
Just accept whatever answer they give you and move on. Don't go any further than that as far as questioning. Secondly, if you're in a social environment and, you know, you're with a, a group of friends, there's this new friend that comes by that maybe you've never saw before. Maybe, you you know, I think it's rude to be like, so what do you do? That's, that's just, that's just, that's just rude. Cause you, again, like I mentioned earlier, you have no idea what this person's status is in life, where they are in life, what they're doing, who they are at all. Like at least get to know the person a little bit and let them tell you who they are. I think that's rude. That's the point of this. Cause we talked last week about the politician and everything approaching me. So I do think that's rude. And I was taking that up, but I guess that's how politicians roll. I'm really not in that circle. Maybe I will be when I get into politics a little bit more. I'm into politics, but not too much. But anyway, lastly, I want to conclude with the whole factor about black women that are successful compared to black men that are successful. There's plenty of evidence out there that proves that, you know, we're leading in that area. And I think the fact that my brother Googled an article about single women looking, you know, for successful men or whatever, that we were the second you know, black women were referenced in one of the second articles without him even mentioning black women. You know, I think that uh, coexists with the fact that it is hard for black women that are single and successful to find dates. And uh, I think why? Because you know, we're a different type of strong. You know, uh, we we demand a certain type of thing. And I do think there are another article, another tangent that we can go on in another podcast is that when we do uh, deal with people, we we do expect different things than maybe other women and other races do that are a lot more docile because of how America has transformed black women's thinking into being. So we're completely different than the women. Because most women, a lot of other cultures are a lot more docile by nature because of how their society expects them to be than we are. We're kind of like our own species of <laughs> black women in America. It's kind of different than white women in America. They're more docile, Asian, you know, Spanish. I don't know about Spanish. They're a little spicy or whatever. But, I I, I mean, they're not as successful as us either. So it's different. Um, so that's a whole other issue. But that, it, that's it my is. conclusion. It is. It's cause, a whole, but cause, like you said, we could do an, a series on yeah, it. We, it's it's going to get deep because cause when, we, when you get into the whole docile argument and all that and, mm-hmm. and, you, and you think the other it's race... It's a whole are, other can of worms. The, the other race are docile. That's bullshit too, for real. Like, oh, I mean, Because okay. I mean, okay. it's like docile to who? That's out of what, like, like, uh, like, like pr- provider, submission. provider men, like, like I mean, who, who are you being docile to? Yeah, provider in, men, obviously. All right, that's what's up. Because that's what they're looking for. That's exactly okay. So we'll we'll get into that. But anyway, yeah, um, get your feet away so, from me. that's cool. I, I hear all that. <laughs> I'm, 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 yeah. I'm, 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 I'm remaining comfortable. I'm gonna sit comfortably and talk to y'all so about you know. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wrap up my conclusions too. So um, about this. So, um. The devil's advocate point I was gonna make is, you know, that the only the only real because we we don't we don't have we don't currently we seriously at this point in our articles don't have any stats showing that showing the the, the ratio showing, what? showing the ratio of successful black women to black men. It's I we, do, it's in we, the notes. We, we don't, I we, have it. Do you want uh, me to uh, read uh, it? Uh, that's that's cool. Or do you believe you, that you, didn't, you didn't show it to me. I, I didn't I, show to you because but, but the only right the only the only devil's advocate point I have black here. women's students far outnumber black men at the nation's highest. Uh, okay. Why don't what, successful what is, black men? What is success? Women? But what is success though? Like I mean, it's it's See, it's, that's not, a whole it's another not, argument. It's What's another your, debate. You just know, ex- give your exactly. conclusion and get out of town. Get yeah, out of my you're, town, you're, bro. You're, you're doing you're doing it again. You you're being okay. All right. The okay. the other thing that we discussed, but I didn't I didn't really get many of my points out this time around. As you can see, um, Ooh, but but in, did, but in conclusion, the devil's advocacy point is that really the only argument that that could support what she's saying right now, you know, that, that to make what she's saying strong is you know there are we we are like you know I would say black men in this country in America, you know we are obviously the target of the judicial system, <laughs> um, you know so right. a, a, a lot of us are. You know, clearly, you know, I mean, we're the target of incarceration and police killing us and, you know, they're just after us. So, you know, a, a lot of your, a lot of brothers are in jail and in prison. I mean, that's just, that's what it is. I mean, so there, there's going to be a shortage based on that. Other than that, um, 
I, I can't just just say in in life I've really noticed like a, a a big ratio or big difference in like the success between black women and black men. I I haven't noticed it. Um, in in my research, you know, and going through these articles, I really didn't see anything anything supporting that. I mean, that's what's up. I mean, that's that's just a difference pain we're gonna have because I I don't know where the stats are showing that. You know, out, outside of you know just us just being in prison. Um. You know, there there are just I know just as many successful brothers as I know successful sisters, and you know, and we're doing great. You know, I'm, I'm we you know I'm I'm proud. I'm, Amen. I, I'm proud of what we're doing. Um, <clears throat> and you know, and I, I I guess that's all. I, I mean, I, I made all my other points earlier. I just got cut off. Really saying I just got cut off a bunch of times. I mean, I didn't yeah, cut you off. Cut me off several times this time around. Y'all. I did not cut you off. All right, y'all. What do you guys say? I, I I forgot several times I was going to say. I did not cut you off at all. Okay. You meant. Okay, my passion point is about welfare, and what? welfare. <laughs> it's about welfare. Remember. I remember. It it, just, it sounded funny for you to say it right Stop now. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. And what I would like to comment on briefly <laughs> is. Um, I don't have any children, okay? Because I decided to live my life and go to college and be carefree and travel and have fun before I had kids because I wanted to figure out who I was and, you know, get to know myself. Um, always protecting myself when I was involved with, um, uh, the guys or whatever, and, you know, never got pregnant. I don't have any children. So, I have a friend who's involved with this uh, in the, this guy. I won't mention her name, but, you know, she goes over to this guy's sister's house all the time. And they live in a house with a garage. A garage, Okay. They don't work. They're on welfare. They get food stamps. They get Section 8. At any given moment, it's like 10 children over there. And I'm like, oh my God. In my projects. And all they do, they wake up first thing in the morning. They start drinking. They start drinking. They drink all day. And then, I mean, they're just terrible people. These are terrible people that are living for free. Here (laughs) I am. I have no children, you know, I work, I've always gone to school and worked two jobs, I've always, you know, been a hustler, you know what I mean? I can't get anything from the government, the government will not give me anything, they will not give me a pot to fucking piss in if I ask them for it, because they're like, oh, oop, you make too much, bitch, boop, <laughs> we can't serve you, and it's, it's been increasingly annoying to me and it's something that I should have probably mentioned the first time around because I really hate the fact that because I don't have I didn't decide to have kids when I was fucking 12 and (laughs) well I'm sorry not 12 because I mean yeah you need help after a while but I know there's millions of people out there that abuse the system and I mean I, I it just it just baffles me I just wish that I was able to go and get some free food, a card that gives me money to get free food (laughs) during my struggle. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Because 90% of these jobs out here don't pay you money that it's poverty level pay. Most of them, you know, most of the job, like if I was to get a full-time job making, I don't know, 14, $15 an hour, that's still way below the poverty level. You know how they expect you to survive. And then, but you're giving the, you're giving money I know people to get over a thousand dollars a month in food stamps, a mm. thousand, because they have each kid is worth I don't know a certain amount or something. I, I mean eight hundred five five hundred. I mean any all any of that is just unbelievable to me. And um, that's that's just my rant. I I just I just don't understand America, because I mean. <laughs> I'm trying to contribute to society in a positive way. You know, I have a nonprofit, you know, I have my little art business. I'm, 
I go, I do my thing, I pay my dues, I, I mean, I vote, you know what I'm saying? And I can't get anything from the government. <laughs> like, nothing. These people, they get free housing with a garage. <laughs> Mind you. She really wants that garage, y'all. I want a garage. I want a free house with a fucking garage. I mean, Jesus. With food stamps? I mean, they don't have to do anything. But what do they do? What do they decide to do with the money? They drink 40s all day. They drink 40s all day. (laughs) That's what they decide to do. That's what's happening. And I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. Don't drink 40s all day, people. Go out, get a job, make some money. You could be rich. It's all these people that are taking advantage of this system could be rich. If I had a, a chance to take advantage of the system, I would be a millionaire right now. Like, you know what I mean? Yo, you think you think you could do something with that time? Yeah, I could do yeah. something with that time. Yeah. All the time that I need now, I'm distraught with the time that I have to do this. You know, I, yeah. I taught myself this software. I taught myself a lot of things. I mean, but Jesus, Louises, like. <laughs> So that's that's my rant. I'm done. What's your what's, that's my passion. What's your passion? Okay, so I'm gonna kind of have a, a time stamp, uh, you know, for when this was recorded, because I'm gonna speak about in the UFC the McGregor Diaz rematch. That, oh um, yes, we saw that last night. That just happened. We just watched it last night. Last it was night. it was an epic fucking battle. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, it it's happening during a time you know when um. You know, you can see that a lot of, you know, there were already like some some politics, you know, kind of being exposed in the UFC. Fighters talking about unionizing because the, the ratio of like, you know, who makes money is, is not allotted to who the best fighters are. Right. Um, McGregor and Diaz, uh, truth be told, neither one of them are top pound for pound fighters. Um, and they just kind of, uh, you know, they they made five million dollars at night. You know, yeah. one, one made three, one made two. You know, most champions might make, like, a six-figure payday. Those are champions. You know, neither one of these guys are champions. Like, McGregor shouldn't still have the belt. I mean, he, you know, he, he's fight, he's, he hasn't defended it in his last two fights. He shouldn't still be a champion. He's not a champion. Um, and it's, it's, it's funny that, you know, it's funny to a lot of guys in the UFC. That's why they wanted to start a union. And because, you know, they they take a lot of punishment and most of them don't make those kind of paydays. It's, it's all about who's marketable at the moment and, you know, and what the people want to see. I mean, I get all that, but it's, it should be like, you know, the, the best fighters who, who make or the, the fighters who will put their dues in who make the money. That's how they feel. So that's why this, they're talking about a union and you could really, you know, see the politics of, of like, you know, that fight kind of pan out because they, they gave the fight to McGregor. The majority of fighters and fight experts, you know, that in, in my circle and people that I've seen on like Twitter seem to think that Diaz won the fight and they gave it to McGregor. It was a close fight. It could have gone either way. Yeah, it was close. I, I do think I like McGregor when he came out. Yeah. I, I was like, he's super cocky and I'm all about <laughs> cocky. I'm all about cocky people because I'm kind of cocky myself. Yeah. But sometimes it can be ridiculous. But I do feel like, you know, watching the fight, I feel like Diaz got more hits. Yeah. And I think, you know, I feel like everybody thinks that. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it was a war, and um, and I could even, you know, see how it, it could have been staged for a rematch. Like, uh, you know, it, it could have even been staged that way um, to, to be close like that. Like, I, I could see that that could have been happening because, you know, the more times they fight, the more money they're going to make. So um, the UFC stands to make a lot of money on a second rematch or a third fight with them, too. Right. And, and, and it, it looked like it was rigged. A lot of it looked like it was rigged. I mean, it, it, it's, and okay, it, and for, for you being like not even like a real fight fan to say that and to, to, be, to say to say that you saw that yourself, is saying a lot, you know. So um, because I remember a lot of times McGregor pushed Diaz down, and he told him to get back up. Like he was like, "All right, get back up." He let him get back up. It was oh. it was like three oh, different okay. times where he where he where he knocked. Diaz down, and he it, he let him he let him get up. You on can a, see. On a side note, okay, now that happened. You know, for those of you who who may not be as educated on MMA, um, McGregor doesn't have very good ground game, and that's what you know. It, it wouldn't have worked in his favor to actually follow up after he knocked Diaz down, because because Diaz is like a Brazilian jiu jitsu genius. Could have punched him a hundred thousand times. Nah, it, it don't work that way, sis. The, the ground the ground game don't work like that. I don't know the ground it, game. You right. You, you right. You don't know it because I mean, because like because Diaz, I mean, he's a submission master. Like you just 
that's like following a snake, you know, into a, his snake hole or something. Like, you just don't want to fuck with Diaz on the ground. And Diaz was bleeding the whole time. And he was he, bloody the whole time. He has, he, has a lot of, he has a lot of scar tissue. Yeah, he does. He has a lot of scar tissue in his face. So, you know, oh. and he has those cheekbones where his face cut, you know. He, right. has, he has a kind of face that cuts up easily. I get it. But, um, but like you said, I mean, it, it, it you know, it looked like it could have been rigged. And, um, and they, they're setting up that third rematch. And that's why they allowed McGregor to win because... McGregor is like you know that 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 marketable face, and he he's cocky. He talks a lot of trash, right. like Sister said. Exactly. And like, I mean, he's and, very he, marketable. and he's and he's bringing in that money, and and they need that, you know, because exactly. they they lost their other pretty boy GSP. He might come back, you know. They don't really have a lot of marketable names right now. McGregor is it. Right. So it is what it is, and I guess we got to go on to our shock. Did you get your shock thing ready? Uh, my shock thing for this week is something of a. Uh, it's not really a super duper shot, I guess, if if I had to say. But I work with this girl, you know, and she she has hypertension, so she takes like diabetes pills. But she's like she's a really cool. She's from New York or whatever. She's probably a little older than me, but she cool as shit. You know what I mean? And she'd be telling me she'd be like, I got <laughs> um. This, the the where we work at, she'd be like, uh, we we process payments, we process checks and stuff. So she was telling me she was getting these million dollar checks all the time, and I'm like, Dad, I don't be getting the million dollar checks. You know what I mean? I don't be, you know what I'm saying? I don't be, cause I would notice if the shit was a million dollars. I be getting five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, nine hundred thousand dollars check, but rarely do I get a check that's over a million dollars. But yo, she get the million dollar checks every day. And I'm going to tell you about this girl. When I first met her, I think I, I don't know if I mentioned it to you or not, but I thought she was like, you know, she's over from New York. She seemed braggy, and I was like, I don't really like you. Like, And I was always, I don't know, kind of a little standoffish. She'd be on the phone, and I'd be like, i walk away from her or whatever. And, but she turned out to be, I really do like her now. She's uh, she's a really good family person, and, and she gets these million-dollar checks. And she's really in the you know, church and everything. And every day, like a week, every day this week, no lie, she turned around to me like, hey, I got, I got my million dollar check today. I got my million dollar check today. And I was like, wow. I was like, you gonna get, you gonna get your million dollars. I told her, I told her, I told her, I said, you gonna get your million dollars. I said, there's no reason. Because nobody else gets a million dollar or more check every day <laughs> that they're processing. You understand what I'm saying? She's the only one. I mean, she already money, though. But I just thought it was so interesting. And it kind of shocked me because I'm like, Shh, this must mean something. It has to mean something if she's getting these checks. And nobody else is getting them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nobody else is getting them. I'm like, you know what? She, she's a good person. Like, And I, I was ju- and I feel bad for like judging her at, at first. But she's a really, really good person, you know. She made me feel evil. I say something. She just say something extra positive. I'd be like, oh shit, I ain't shit. I'm like, I ain't shit. Like, damn. <laughs> Cause we went to this one girl desk at work, and it had something on there. I'm like, well, she need to stop eating all them snacks. Then she was like, well, no, this is a real good motivational message. And I was like, damn, I ain't shit. <laughs> the girl was should have ate some more fucking healthy food, you know. But I guess that's my shock factor. It's not. That's not a big deal, I guess. But that's it. What do you think about you? <laughs> It's, it's it's not always gonna be you know a huge thing you know it's just you know something to talk about. Uh, uh, I mean, recently I I did have a, a a pretty pretty big shocking moment. You know this this is gonna drop a lot of jaws. I think so. Um, so like uh, <laughs> there, so there was a shorty I used to kick it with back in the day, and um, you know we we I guess you know here and there you know we kind of like rekindle not re- not really rekindle but like touch bases or catch back up like on Facebook Messenger or something, you know like each other statuses you know that's what Facebook is for really, right. trying to like you know catch up with your network you know whoever you haven't you know caught up with in a while so um you know I'm I'm not gonna talk about how long it's been since we've been kicking it or since we did kick it back in the day, um but I I will say that you know since then she's been you know messing or been in a relationship with the same guy I think. Ah, I know where uh, this is going. Okay. All right. Try, try not to cut me off this time. All right. I'm going to leave. I got to pee. 
All right, handle your business. So, I actually, yeah, I can probably. Well, you can't blame me. I could probably finish this until you get back. That's so, right. um, so here's what's going. Here's what happens. So, like, um, I'm basically, um, you know, we we're texting here and there. I'm, I'm like, I'm doing my fitness thing. I'm trying to build up clients, you know. So she catches up with me in the midst of that, and I offer to like train her, basically, you know, like this on some some completely, uh you know, uh, platonic, you know, not even, like, trying to, like, do anything like that. I, I know she got to do now, just, like, you know, just trying to, like, put myself out there, get get a consistent flow of clients, you know, and um, and just get into the habit of, like, you know, of doing this thing. So um, I, I feel like, you know, whenever I'm, you know, I'm, I'm doing that for people, like, if I can work out with one of my friends or, you know, train them, help them out, help them reach their fitness goals, that's helping me out, you know, more so than even them because I'm great at what I do. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, in the midst of, like, starting my marketing. So, um, so we catch up and we talk about that. And we talk about, yeah, we're going to get up and, you know, I, I, you know we'll, we'll, get, we'll go to the park. I'll work you out and everything. Unbeknownst to me, you know, her boyfriend, who I guess you see still dealing with after all this time, he's been, I guess, in and out of her messages, you know, in her phone, you know, uh, looking at the phone when I'm calling or texting. And she's been, like, hiding her phone. <laughs> whenever I call the texter and it's like you know I it's nothing like that like he, he even saw the messages and saw that it was nothing like that he saw that so that the shock point here is one time I go to call her because I, I felt bad like we didn't catch up one time she lives a little out of the way now and I felt bad like she lives a little far I, I was never able to follow up with her to really be able to pick back up and you know and start training her like I wanted to and, you know, it's, it's, it was just inconvenient for me because of where she lives physically, like, where you know, where she lives. She's, like, in a, a deep part of Chesapeake. It's kind of hard for me to, you know, I don't really do any networking over there, so it was hard for me. I, I fell off, you know, even contacted her for a couple months, and I felt bad. So I called her. So she calls me back. I miss her call because I'm on the phone. Then I get a, a call from this collections-looking number that ends with two zeros, like, <laughs> like, two, 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 one thousand or something. It looks like I'm getting a call from a bill collector, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and and it's I mean and it's like, and then the number starts texting me too, and it's like, yeah, this is such and such, you know, and he says his name, and I, I remember the name from you know who she told me she used to mess with. It was like you know it's it's been like that. It's been that long, and listen, it's a long ass story. It it and it, it was they've been together a long time because <laughs> hey, listen, for as long as they've been been together, I'm again I'm not gonna say the length of time. I'm not gonna put too much of them out there. These people are gonna be anonymous for this I whole. Know what it is. You don't even know. Sister doesn't even know. She just says she knows. She doesn't know. Uh, yeah, I lied. I don't know. So like, <laughs> if if they if they have been living together for as long as they've been together, put it this way: they they're legally married in the state of Virginia. <laughs> if if they've been living together that long, wow. so so that I'm, so that gives y'all a little bit of insight. So yo is texting like, yeah, Anthony, you know, talk to me like a man. Um, you know, I just want to talk, and I'm like, yo, I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone with my family right now. I you know. I'll call you back, you know, or whatever. And um, he's like, yeah, man, I just want to talk, man. You know, I'm like, all right, if, it's, if it means that much to you, I'm going to call you back as soon as I go out the phone, if it means that much to you. So I get on the phone with this dude, <laughs> and this dude starts pouring his soul out to me. I mean, like, you know, he he's the financial provider, um, you know. And the, the, she's the, fucking around with and, my brother. <laughs> and, and, and she is not fucking around with me at all because I still haven't seen her since back in the day. She's trying to. She, but it, it, maybe it does seem that if he, if she got to hide a phone every time I hit her up, then I guess that's what's going on. But see, that's her hide, not brother being bad. That's her <laughs> being weird. Right. So she's doing weird shit. So he, but he's pouring out his heart to me. He's like, yeah, you know, she's supposed to be, um, you know, having her own business. You know, I, I gave her my, you know, my, um, my grandmother is one of her clients. She lived right around the corner. She don't even go see her like she's supposed to. And she ain't even, you know, she ain't put no food on the table. She ain't doing nothing. Blah, blah, and I'm like, wow, you know. I mean, he's like, I mean, it, you know, I mean, he did. He was, he so he he was really pouring it out. He even told me like he had, he he felt like he really had to get that out because he couldn't even talk to his family about his girl. Damn. He couldn't even talk to his family about his girl because they all they all like her, so he can't even like express this shit to his family about everything. Damn. He can't even express like what you know what he going through to his own peoples. So um, that that was shocking. I mean, to, to get a call from like I guess you know. 
I mean, I'm not even a, a really a side dude right now. It's like I feel like a side dude. You're low key a side dude. I'm not even. I'm in, in this. <laughs> I'm not even the side dude, but I'm getting this phone call, like you know, like I'm the side, and I'm not. <laughs> and I mean, but he really had to get that off his chest. I even like you know. I, All right, let's wrap I, this shit I, up. I offered him some advice, you know what I mean? Weird. Yeah, you want some other shit. Yeah, okay, I, I got one more thing to say about that, because earlier you, you were doing some shit like, yeah, you know, where it's not about the articles, it's about our opinions, and you sat and read an entire article. I on did one read of our last, entire article. You read an entire article on one no, of our last podcasts. No, I'm just podcasts. saying it at a time. All right, that's what's up. I'm just saying you were on some other shit this time. I wasn't. Why are you so mean to me today? All right. You said I was cutting you off. You said I was cutting you off, uh, and I, I wasn't. I, you, you hit a little bit too many of those, yo. I think this time. And I'm going to cut this part out. All right. Watch when we listen to it. You're going to be surprised how ridiculous you are. All right. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Check out our articles in the notes. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And we'll tune in to us next weekend. Thanks for listening. Bye.